and welcome to another Ask the Data Governance Coach video series. And today's question is one that I teach regularly on my training course, but I'd realized that I've never done a short video on when somebody asked me about this recently. So here we go. The question for today is, what is data lineage? Now, I think data lineage can be a very valuable thing when it comes to doing data governance, but I think the term makes it sound perhaps more scary than it really is. So data lineage, at its absolute simplest, is just a diagram that shows you how data flows through an organization. From the first point that it comes into your organization, maybe a customer typing an order and their details on your website, through to perhaps the the systems which process their orders, um, the inventory system, going through to maybe the data warehouse where you do some reporting on them. And that might be as far as the data goes. Now, obviously, there's going to be much more complex uh, scenarios than that. But quite often, you can start with a very simple data lineage or data flow diagram, which just shows little boxes that show this for this data set, it goes through these systems. This is the process that's happening to them along the way. They are really useful tools because they can show you where perhaps things can go wrong with data, usually when it's being transformed, where it's being moved from system to system. And it'll also perhaps highlight that perhaps the data was going more convoluted routes than you realized. So data lineage is not scary. It is, however, somewhat uh, challenging to create from time to time. Now, there are tools, automated tools that can scan your databases and create this for you. But, you know, I've seen or I've, I've been told by clients that these create huge volumes of very granular data lineage diagrams that have been done at perhaps data field level. And that is going to be very useful in some scenarios. But sometimes if you're just doing data lineage because you feel like you should, it can be a little bit of an overwhelm, too much information. So if if you don't need that level of granularity, my advice would be maybe to choose some really critical data that's really important to your organization and work backwards. It's really hard to work forwards from when you're trying to create a data lineage if it's never been documented before. So I would recommend going back to somebody who's using it perhaps in a report, that data. Um, So perhaps one of the final stages that that data is used, ask them where they get that data. And then you literally do that same process time and time again and trace it all the way back and try and find out where it goes. Also good to talk to perhaps some experienced, long-standing business analysts in your organization. They probably have some good ideas about where data is flowing through and you can start doing that. So hopefully that has given you some clarity on what data lineage is and what a, a simple approach to do some very high level, not at data field level um, data lineage diagrams. So I hope that was helpful. If it was, please help me in my mission to make as many people as possible successful with data governance by liking and sharing this video on your choice of social media. And don't forget, if you have a question that you'd like me to answer on a future video, just email it in to questions at nicolaascom.com.